Hello, welcome in. It's Kyra here for tonight's card and gaming sale. How are people tonight? Who's here? Who's here? I feel like it's been a weird weekend. People are already leaving to go to their cabins and lakes and stuff. But hello, Paul. Hello, Jason. What's up? What's up? Got a whole mis mishmash of stuff tonight. Um, I don't know. Where do I want to start out? I'll let a couple more people stream in. I want to let Trico survive for a couple more seconds. Um, let's see. Why don't I just start off with a couple of... We didn't get much Pokemon Go stuff in, and what we did get in already went fast. So I literally have like three things left that I will show off. So someone better claim them quick, because it's all we got. So I actually have two of these. Someone already picked one up, the V Battle Decks for Pokemon Go. These are $35 each, and you got a nice Mewtwo versus Melmetal Decks. I might have to pick one of those up myself. Ooh, sorry about that squeak. Test that out. And then the only premium box I have left, Alolan Exeggutor V. And isn't this, it looks so plain. I'm like, you picked that font. <laughs> but that one is $25. Like, doesn't it almost look knockoff? I don't know. That's like the vibe I was getting from this set, looking at kind of the set list and stuff. I'm like, the little Pokemon Go stamp on all the cards just look kind of cheap to me in a way. I'll probably still pick stuff up, but I'm like, meh. We also still have two of the po ugh, more Pico V Union boxes left. Those ones are 35. If anyone wanted to snag those, and I think... We'll have some Fusion Strike and Brilliant Stars packs in them. Yeah, and I looked at the set list. It was, like, not that exciting to me. I'm not sure why. But I do want the... Um, I saw there was, like, a cute Spark card, though. I think that's the only one I'm aiming for. And then I'll show off a couple of the other little things I have back here. Actually, big things. Oh my gosh. So we did get this cool board game in, Betrayal at House on the Hill. That one is $50, and I can show us the back in a sec. Ugh. Grab all my stuff. My new GameCube. No. Hmm. Let me think. I don't believe any new GameCube. Probably not SNES, but I might have one or two NES games I can show. Um, we can go on a little field trip after. So I don't know what this game is about. Haunted children something or another. Child disappearances. Thought I'd show that one off. <laughs> That's a good reason to buy a game. Child disappearances. And then, I didn't even see we got this in. Oh my gosh, it's so big. So, it is Assassin's Creed Origins. This one is $40, and it's the Assassin Bracers. Guessing it's not real knives, unfortunately. Retractable blade, but that would be so fun for a cosplay. And I feel like you can use that... I mean, obviously, it's for Assassin's Creed Origins, but you could use that for most of the characters, especially, like, the older, like, Altair or something. So I just thought that was fun. It's gaming adjacent. Why not? Then I also wanted to show off these pretty cool. These are for the Skyrim 10th anniversary Alduin. It's, like, a gold... What would you call it? I guess just figure, statue type of figure. 
So you got a cool base with some bones. Looks like the joints move, the jaw moves. Looks gold plated. So that one is only $20. You don't see a lot of Skyrim merch, but I guess now that it's the anniversary, we're going to get some cool stuff out. That's always my favorite go-to game. If I'm bored with whatever I'm playing, I'm like, meh, I'll go back to Skyrim. It's one of those you can just, it welcomes you home. Wherever you are in life, you always have Skyrim. All right, let's get a bunch of, I have a bunch of cool stuff around me, actually. Um, let's get a couple sports things out of the way. So I do have a couple packs. Let's see, I got this 2021 Charism pack. Let's see, how many packs does it have? Four cards a pack, seven packs. That one is $40. Got Don Russ basketball, 88 cards for $40. 11 packs. And I got these. Let's see, 2022 Bowman Mega Box for 60. Four 10 card packs and two Chrome packs. And then I also have a couple magic packs. We didn't get any of the Pokemon Go boosters for some reason. But I do still have some Baldur's Gate stuff and some of the newer Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. So I'll show off. And I would grab some of this stuff while you can because we are really not getting a restock on Baldur's Gate. So I actually have two of these, $45. You get a see, Baldur's Gate bundle. So we got eight set boosters. Some basic lands, alt art, you get the box, and you get a die. And then I have the set boosters, and those ones are going for $5 per pack. So I would pick those up while you can. Yeah, Cody. Is that lower or higher than you expected? <laughs> Yell at Brad, yell at Brad. I don't come up with it. <laughs> okay, cool, gotcha. <laughs> I thought you were angry at me. Jesus. And then I also have literally only two collector's boosters. Those ones are going to be $11. This is, we only have a couple more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thought you were exclaiming at me. Um, only have a couple more set boosters in this. And then this is all I have for those collector's boosters. So snag them while you can, because they're going to go quick in store. I'll let those simmer for a sec. And then I'll also, while I'm here, I'll show off. I don't know if this is the newest set, but it is a newer. I guess I could see. But these ones are going to be $4 a pack for these new Legendary Duelists. Oh, I guess these are a little older, actually. 2020. Weird that we just got them now. But, you know, if someone wants some 2020 Legendary Duelists. We've had, like, tons of kids, oh, that was a really bad dollar sign, coming in for Yu-Gi-Oh! packs recently. I love to see it. It's just interesting. I'm like, where are all these Yu-Gi-Oh! kids coming from? Just go for it, Cody. Go for it.
You have to come up at some point because um, if you saw on our Facebook, we're doing magic on Friday nights again. So you need to come up and what else are we doing? I don't think he had enough people in for the draft, but um, Jacob, who's working here, who's doing the magic, is going to do some draft. I don't know how you even word that. Drafting, draft picks, whatever. So that'll be fun. And I got you for those, Cody. And I think they were just kind of playing Commander last night, but it looked fun. So stop by. Ooh, we also got in. I know people have been asking for these in store. Thought I'd show these. Got in those nice um, magnetic hard cases. They're only $4 each. Super nice for protecting your more expensive cards. Thought I'd show those off. If anyone wants to snag a bunch. We have plenty. I have a couple gaming stuff that I grabbed tonight, other than those. Kind of show the bad boy off. Oh, yeah, for sure, Kevin. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And I've got more than that if anyone else. Ugh, anybody else want some? Surprised they're only four dollars. I'm probably gonna have to snag some up. Um, show you the kind of the big boy for tonight. If anyone can get a clue from that, we got in a nice working 3DS. We do not get in small like you know handheld consoles a lot so we're doing that for 110 so you get case you get a pretty pink stylus if you want it charger it has been tested we'll see if it's charged up it's got a couple oh it's not going to focus well surface scratches honestly it doesn't ruin the quality of the game um i also um what is it wiped all the data and then i just started up a fresh data just with some random information but it is all fresh all wiped works like a charm exciting to get in some consoles so i'll have that bad boy over here got that and then i also have some fun little empty cases we already have i guess these would just fit probably a ds light but some cute little mario cases i thought that one's really cute for twelve dollars and ten dollars Rochester always gets all the good uh, handhelds. Also, for a couple little gaming items, we got in the used copy Xbox One Batman Arkham Knight for $10. The disc looks great on that one. We also got a Red, Dem uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 for $15. I also have a little bundle here. If anyone has a PS2, I suppose. For only $15. And the disc looks great on this one. We got Final Fantasy... Is that number 7? Yeah. Again, I cannot do Roman numerals. 
And you get the nice guidebook. I don't know what that is. Map something. We just have that as a cute little bundle if anyone's interested. Let me think. What else do I got? All right, I know a specific person who might be interested in these if there is a Nora hanging around. Otherwise, thought I'd show off. We got these cute, and I don't know if these came in, you know, those like battle figures or if these were part of like a premium box. Which is seven dollars each. We got this cute Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon with little movable legs, and they're kind of weirdly shimmery too. Get all that random little stuff out of the way. Then I also have some, a couple higher end sports card singles tonight and a good amount of older Pokemon singles. To see, just let me know. I'll get some of this stuff out of the way. Just let me know if you want to see anything again. And I can kind of do a pan over the table again towards the end for anyone who might have missed. Still got that DS. Otherwise, I might snatch up that DS. Because I hate Pokemon games that make you... I like how they changed it in the newer generations. But, you know, how you have to trade in order to evolve. And I never got to do that because I never had any friends to trade with. That's why I think most players just have a second DS on hand to trade with themselves. I'll show off just a couple singles for 25. We got this Elijah Mitchell. Hollow autograph rookie card. For $30, LaMelo Ball. He joined the right profession with that last name. Rated rookie. And for a pretty penny... $90. Got this Patrick Mahomes jersey card. And guaranteed player worn material. Patrick Mahomes sweat in this jersey. Guaranteed. Slowly, we've been getting through some magic singles as well. I just have a couple here. Been finding some cool ones that we didn't even know we had. Show off a couple for $8. Cuscan Falls. Scooch those over. At $8, something of smog. $10, pitiless plunder. And $11, dictate of Erebos. Sorry, the autofocus on my new phone just goes wild sometimes. Then, other than that, we'll do some Pokemon singles. 
I don't know if it might be shorter sale tonight. Otherwise, I might. Oh, what did someone want to see? I've already forgotten. Oh, NES games will bring us over there, and then I'll bring us up to the front case as well. Let's see. Let's get some $1 cards out of the way. At $1, I have Garboder VMAX. Luxray V. Pikachu V. And Phalanx. And I also have two of those Sylveon promos. And then for $2, I have the Trainer Gallery Eevee with Bill. And also at $2, a Zacian V. Now I'll show off my only $3, a Leafeon V Star. And by the way, I will be working tomorrow, and I'll probably be bringing my Pokemon binders. So if anyone's coming to pick up any of their claims, bring your Pokemon to trade with me. <laughs> All right. Wonder if Adriana's in here. We got a bunch of the e-reader cards. Got a Tentacruel for $7. And just remind me if you want to do a condition check on any of these. I didn't check a lot of them beforehand, but I'll try to show them off. At $7, I have this Rainbow Energy. $8, Lane's Nine Tails. And then this one looked pretty good to me except for a little bit of white on that corner pretty good edges though and at eight dollars i got a first edition darkness energy is that maybe a little bit of whitening on that edge and that edge Next up for $8, I have Barack's Gollum. At $8, Dark Gyarados. I got, see some light whitening along this edge in that bottom corner. Ooh, love these absolutely blinding reverse hollows they used to do. Got this platinum pre-release Pikachu at eight or uh, Pichu, sorry, at eight dollars. Got a nice hole on adventure. For eight dollars, a 
at this reverse hollow e-reader Doug Trio for nine. Hmm. I'm guessing this one is in Spanish. Got a nine dollar cipher. Spanish or Portuguese. I don't know. I took German in high school. Then got some newer ones mixed in here. Also got this $9 Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. I love the art on this one. E-Reader Togetic. Looks like he's lost in the city. At $10. Oh my gosh, this one's very alarming to look at. I love the sheer hilarious. I don't know, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> $10 Oma Star. That is just the weirdest art ever. Next up at Oh, dang, only $10. I think this one goes for more. Got a really nice Hollow Kingdra from Neo Genesis. Let me see if we got any swirls. Eh. Ooh. I think that's the tiniest bit of a swirl. But it's covered up by the Cedra. At ten dollars, got a first edition vile plume. Of course, Michaela. Ooh, this one, I got two swirls on here. Nice metal energy, $10. You can see I got a swirl in that corner, and I got a swirl in this corner. So in the game, in the trading card game, I mean, I've always called it steel energy, but has it always been metal energy or did they change it so odd to me hunting the swirls i see i see got next up a first edition not hollow lapras at eleven dollars And I have a first edition Dark Jolteon. I don't know. This one... I can't remember if that's usually on the card. I don't know if that's a little schmutz on it or if that's usually on the card. But there we have it. Ooh, another nice blinding hollow one. Oh, this one's actually pretty cool. How they did the hollow. For $12, I have this Delta Species B drill. I like how they did this one. And these ones were actually considered reverse hollow, even though there was hollow on that image. But it's like just the B drill. It's holographic on that one. It's pretty cool. But I see it is, does have that um, kind of bend or like, um, you know, 
and then it has some creasing over here. Next up, this one looks lightly to moderately played. At $12, I have a hollow magneton, but I got a lot of whitening along these back edges. If you can see that. Yeah, for sure. Next up, this one I would put into heavily played to damaged territory. Still a pretty cool card. Got this hollow Articuno from the Legendary Collection. I'll try to show you can see that hollow, how that kind of peels back. Scratched up. On that front, and then we got a lot of wear on the back. Still, if you're looking for a cheaper option, I always settle for damaged or heavily played cards if it's just like gonna cost way, way too much, you know, to get it in good condition. Ooh, let me do a swirl check on the next one. All right, don't think any swirls on here. But I have for $13, Alakazam from Base Set 2 with some nice hollow on there. At $14, I have a Dark Blast Toys. Shellfish Pokemon. I have never heard it called that. And I have some light whitening along the back edge. Shellfish, okay. Okay. Uh, this might be a hint of a swirl on this one. I've got a Lapras. Holographic. It's kind of hard to see because of the background pattern, too. I want to say it's like right there. It's a little hard to tell. That one is at 14, and I do have wear on that back. And I would say the front has a little bit of like, I don't know what you would call it, murkiness to it. Maybe some dirt on there. Let's see, next up, base set two. Got us a Hitmonchan. With some spectacular sparkle. Ooh. Is that a swirl? It's harder to tell with this type of hollow, but kind of a bit of a swirl right there. Oh, got a swirl on this one. At $15, I have this ladybug. Really cool reverse hollow, and then I have a swirl right here. It's that weird kind of dark hollow where you have to turn it into the right light. Let's see condition. This one looks pretty good. Just very light whitening along the bottom edges. 
And then kind of some surface scratches on the hollow. Just taking a peek at this next mm -hmm. one. At 15, got a nice holographic Brock's Bryhorn, or sorry, right on. At 16, got a Neato Queen from base set two, maybe a hint of a hollow up there. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. Next up, I got this Delta Species Pichu at $19. Also at $19. Got a base set to Gyarados. Here's a pretty cool e-reader. Got a Starmie for $20. With some really cool art. Looks like it blasted into the ground or something. $23. Got a Nido King. At 26. Got a nice hollow Raichu. Twenty eight got an aerodactyl then I guess here's one in better condition than before. So at thirty two got a better condition hollow articuno. Whoa. Is it just me or does the hollow look almost three D on that one? That's a super pretty card. Got a swirl on this bad boy at 32. Got this Togetic with a nice swirl up here by the head crown. Always love the hollow on that one. At 35, I have Giovanni's Nido King. At 37, we got Jolteon with the weird fist paw going on. Now this one, I don't think, I like have not seen this one come by the store. But it has a really cool holographic background. We always get the Jolteon, but I don't think we ever get this Flareon. At $40. And this one is pretty crisp. Very minor whitening along that back edge. And then I did notice it has that slight kind of curvature as well. It has this really pretty um, rainbowy holographic that I like. At 
at $40. We got this nice Gengar. At 42, our last newer one, I guess, got this Charizard V Max. Been seeing a lot of those Charizards coming in lately. And then, lastly, actually, for our singles, I do see a really nice swirl on this one. We got the lovely Feraligator at 55. And I got a nice swirl up there. Totodile is one of my favorite starters, along with Cyndaquil. All right, so that's what I'll, all I have for the table. Is there anything anyone wants me to go back on over here? I'll do a quick walk up front, though, to finish off the sale. Um, yeah, this is our one box. If anyone wants to snag that, that one is 25 as a reminder. And we have the uh, V-Battle deck for 35 Otherwise, eh. Bye. Thanks for joining me tonight, guys. If you're going to step out, hope you have a good 4th of July weekend. If you're celebrating, going on vacation, let's just see what NES or SNES. If you don't have a lot, if that person is still here who asked earlier, let's see. You got Solitaire. Desert Strike. And... Space Invaders at $12. We don't get a lot of NES or SNES games. Got one N64 game. Um, let's see. For NES, a lot of people have been asking for Duck Hunt recently. For $5, you get Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt on that one. Over here, got a couple cool figures. Sonic, Spyro, Super Mario. Ooh, we do have a PlayStation and a PlayStation 2 right now. As well as a beautiful Atari. And an Atari flashback. So that's one that's like pre-built with games. And then we have a 360. Then go see what's going on up front. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have that same that Mario Bros and Duck Hunt for ten dollars. That's just a better um copy. Got Tech Mobile Bowl for twenty. Got a Speed Racer for the SNES. Mission Impossible, N64. Still got that cool NES Classic. That one is like pre-built with a bunch of games. Got a couple higher-end Amiibos. That one is 45. Got the plant at 40. Waluigi. Got a Pokemon X. A couple loose amiibos. There's some of our more expensive games. Mass Effect, Destiny, Cold War, Cyberpunk. Ooh, we still have that Xbox. What is that, the S? Uh -huh. Some Yu-Gi-Oh packs. A couple Kamigawa, Commander. So I've got one more bundle. If you want to snag that, Cody. 
more Pico V Union. Most of the cards in there you guys have seen before. Then, yeah, as you can see, we don't have a lot of booster packs right now. Got a couple of the set boosters. New Capana Draft. Midnight Hunt Draft. Crimson Vow Draft. Got some Yu-Gi-Oh! Those ones are all $4 each if anyone wants. Any. Got one of these. NFL 5. This is like a... Oh, it goes in there. But it's like the trading card game. And then we have these My Hero trading cards. Did anyone else? Reminder, we have those nice um, magnetic cases for $4. Also got some of the just like penny sleeves for $5. These nice tokens, I think they're like dry, uh, dry erase. You can use them as tokens, markers. Um, then I got some other size sleeves. Those ones are $3. Bigger ones for $4. But yeah, that's about all we have this week. Is there anything I can go back to for anyone? Otherwise, it might just be kind of a short sale tonight. Thanks for joining me, though, tonight. Um, here, you can see all my mess. Yeah, I might just kind of leave it off here. Um, let's see, a couple of you are in Rochester, so those will be down by Wednesday. And, yeah, I guess I will see you guys in two weeks so again thanks so much for joining have a good night have a good weekend bye bye